Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Just checking in here uh, with our new Q Baptist Church online and what's been happening. So we're going to go around the team just to share some things that will be happening this week and next week, starting with Tom Black. G'day, everyone. My name's Tom. I am one of the interns here. A bit of a public service announcement, though, before I say what I have to say. Myself, Nick and Benji are competing for the Sidious Moustache here on the ministry team. So that's just a bit of uh, background information on why this is here. Um, but without further ado, the other things we have to say are... Um, one, Young Adults Live is coming up after Hub Nights, continuing at 7.30, so tune in for that. And the second thing is, in the lead up to Easter, we're going to have prayer devotions in the morning. It'll be at 8 to 8.30. The Zoom chat, sign on for that. It'll be awesome. Over to Andy. Hi, guys. Tom, I'm just wondering why the women weren't included in the moustache competition. <laughs> Hi, church. You can see our spirits are still high here. Um, we've got lots of exciting things happening, and I'm hoping that the families that you had a bit of fun with your kids yesterday watching uh, Lewis and Sam and myself having a bit of fun and learning about some Bible stories. I'd love to hear your feedback from those, so please send through and we can refine it a little bit more for next week. And some exciting news for our young married couples in the church. We are going to start a young married live group in a fortnight. So Mark and I will be hosting that in two weeks time and we'll be connecting in with all the newly marrieds and the young adult married couples to just chat and see how you guys are going. Looking forward to that. Lauren. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Hi, everyone. Lauren here, Worship and Integration Pastor. A couple of updates for you. We've just been meeting as a team, and we're really excited about all the different things we've got happening to connect and engage with you over this time. So in terms of worship, I've already been chatting with some of our musos, and we're going to start something called Tuesday Tunes, um, where we're going to have different people sharing some, some video and audio and some creativity. So keep an eye out for that on the online page. Uh, in terms of integration, um, usually we'd have newcomers dinners every month and we're now looking at having some online virtual newcomer hangouts um, so keep an eye out for that as well and then small groups is the other crucial thing so now more than ever um, we really want to see everyone connected in with a small group um, and to help you with that Benji is going to talk a bit more about our connection. Hey guys Benji here uh, interim administrator. Uh, two quick updates from me um, first of all I didn't receive the memo about the CD mustache until this morning, so um, if I had more notice, it would be much better than this at the moment. Um, second update, as Lauren said, uh, we need everyone in the church uh, to fill out a Get Connected uh, form, which is on the Facebook page from last night, so um, that will show us how you're getting connected to Q Baptist Online, which small groups you might be in, or if you're wanting to join one. Um, so if everyone could get onto that, that'd be great. Cheers. Over to Amanda. Hello, everybody. I wonder how your day has been today. Have you filled it with watching TV? Hopefully not too much. Have you felt good? Do you feel sad and discouraged? I must admit I'm finding it a little bit hard at the moment, but I want you to know that nobody is alone during this time. And we're looking at everybody's names on a list this morning and you will be getting calls or texts just to see how you are. And if anybody would like prayer, I would love to pray with someone. You have my details. Please give me a call or text me and say, Amanda, I'd love you to pray for me. And sometimes I think the best thing to do in situations like now when I don't have a lot of words to say is to quote from our beautiful Word of God. So hopefully I'll remember this. It's from Isaiah 40 and it says this, Don't you know... Haven't you heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He created all the world. He never grows tired or weary. No one understands his thoughts. He strengthens those who are weary. Even the young grow tired. Young people can fall exhausted. But those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. They will rise on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Through this time, may you find your wings. And one day, I pray that we will all soar once again. God bless you all. I mean, God bless you, church. I'm not going to go on. I don't know about this moustache thing. I need to think about it. Bye.